I, like many other people, used to be an absolute degenerate. During quarantine, I would wake up at 8 a.m. every day to play video games. I'd log into my computer to do online school, and at the same time, I'd boot up my Xbox. So while doing online school, I'd be playing like Rocket League or some like dumb game. And I would keep playing from 8 a.m. probably up until around midnight. Every single day. Not only was I absolutely just wasting my time, but I was also eating like a pig. Fries, burgers, anything you can imagine, I would eat all of it. I would eat these disgusting processed foods that are so bad for you. And I didn't care at all. My friend group didn't respect me. My own family didn't respect me. And I couldn't even respect myself. I didn't like the person that I saw in the mirror. Sure, I was having tons of fun. But deep down, I really wasn't fulfilled at all. I wanted more out of life. I had this urge to make money. To do something with my time. To find excitement and enjoyment in the things I do. But I didn't pursue this like desire until this one time. When my friends who didn't respect me started just slandering me on Xbox. They were calling me horrible names. They were saying things about me and my family that I just could not handle. So I said, you know what? I'm going to stop playing Xbox for one week. Let's see how that happens. Let's see how it goes. That one week turned into numerous years. I haven't touched my Xbox since. I sold it a while back for like 100 bucks. And it's probably the best 100 bucks I've ever made. The first time in my life, I pondered about what I wanted from life. What I could and what I really wanted to just extract from my own being and from the world around me. During this time, I managed to find a couple mindsets that helped me to find a life that I think is significantly better than what it used to be. And I want to share this with you too. So here's some mindsets that I've personally adopted that I want to share with you that have helped me find life, excitement, enjoyment, and success. Part one, let's find out. So every morning I like to plan out my days. Like I have this little like sticky note right here that says all the things I have to do. Um, that was for like yesterday. I haven't made mine today because I'm a bum. But, but in reality, I only stick around 80% of it because stuff happens. Like sometimes like I have to go out, like maybe I'll go with my parents, maybe like something happens, whatever. But sometimes I wonder, what if I just stick to it 100%? How would my life look if I just stuck to it? I don't know yet. So one of the things I have to ask myself is, let's find out. You can apply this to so many things in life. Let's connect it to you walking your dog, for example. If you're taking the same old path again and again and again and again and again, that won't bring too much excitement or novelty, right? But what if one day you just simply deviate from the path? You take the path less taken. By taking this path, you're risking either going on a worse path or a better path than before. If it's a worse path, well, now you know. Just don't take it again. And if it's better, shit, it's, isn't that amazing? And like I said, you can apply this to so many things. Simply by doing something different every once in a while. Never sticking to the same old stuff again and again and again and again and again. We bring a sense of experimentation, novelty, newness, and, and excitement that just wasn't there before. It's a sense of like danger and risk with like a good amount of reward if you find something worth. It feels amazing to experiment and to find like novelty that used to be better than before. It's amazing. So no matter the situation, if you want to do something differently and see what comes out of it, there's only one way of knowing if the risk is worth it. So, you just say to yourself, let's find out. Part 2. Experience over everything. So I used to be a hardcore like TikTok scroller, you know, like mindless scrolling. And one time I saw this TikTok of this one guy. And the TikTok said, I'll always make my money back no matter what I spend it on. But I'll never be 20 in the mountains filled with snow, making eggs and like a fire drinking a protein shake in like negative 20 degrees Celsius. And that just made me think. It's so true times me and my friends have gone to the mountains the experiences we've all just had together have been so much more significant than these objects i've bought my phone my computer notebooks so many things so many material things that i spent my money on could have brought so much more value if i had spent it on like a trip if i had flown to like europe and saw and seen something new maybe done something new with my friends so would you rather like take a trip to europe and stay there and party maybe meet some girls have fun with your bros would you rather do that and learn so many things? Or would you rather spend that like four grand or so they would spend in Europe to blow down like stupid stuff? Like, oh, new MacBook, cool, new iPhone. That's like four grand right there, just blown already. I do get it that objects like this, like they do matter. We do need phones, we do need laptops. But at the same time, experiences would bring you so much more value out of the dumb things, out of dumb purchases. Like imagine if like 
all the clothes in your closet right now, all the dumb stuff that you don't even wear. Imagine if you spent it all on a trip or on this once in a lifetime experience. You'll get the most out of your money through experiences. And of course, like the TikTok said, you'll get your money back, but you'll never get your time back, your age, your youth. So make the most out of this time while you can. I'm so glad to have discovered this so early because now I know that my money is so much better spent on anything but projects and things that won't bring me that much value. I'd rather spend it on things that are gonna stick with me forever. And if you're still young, like maybe like 13 to like early 20s, this, this one's for you. Some people just don't get that experiences are literally the foundation of life. Doing things with your friends, your family. That's what brings real fulfillment and enjoyment. Not a new iPhone, not a MacBook, not a car even. Sure, yeah, we need a car, but. So take that trip you've always wanted to take with your friends. Do the things you've always wanted to do. Put a little bit of water right here. Part three, you get out what you put in. From reading, studying, and just learning in general. I found out about the law of equivalent exchange. This means that you get out exactly what you put in and there's no such thing as getting something from nothing. There is absolutely no way you're gonna get where you wanna be by doing nothing or by taking like minimal action. In order to get anything, anything out of life, you need to put in action, progress. You need to put in the work. And from those things you get results, money, success, wealth, the physique you've always wanted. Of course, this goes for anything, not just money. It goes for bodybuilding, school, your grades, work, promotions discipline, family, social life, relationships, you name it. You're never gonna make friends by not going out and talking to people. You're never gonna get a promotion at your job if you're doing a shitty job at it. You're never gonna enjoy the trip or vacation that you're taking if you never get out of your hotel and just stay there and wallow in your own little room. This one was a little bit more obvious, but I think it's one of the major ones that I've actually like really implemented into my life. And I found that it really, really helps. I always thought I was gonna get successful just by kind of being me by never making a change to be successful or to have the mindset. Now I know this is completely wrong and I need to sort of shift my paradigm, like have a completely brand new mind to really be able like to have wealth and success. Here's a quick bonus, 10 years ahead. So like I said, I used to play video games and be an absolute degenerate. You know, I was only thinking for the moment. I was always thinking, what am I gonna have right now? What am I gonna do today? I never thought about tomorrow. I never thought about how my life was going to be in 5, 10, 20 years. So I only did the habits that benefited me today. Not once did I ever do the habits that would benefit me in 10 years, 5 years. Like going to the gym, eating clean, working on something meaningful. Those do not benefit you at all today, but they do in the future. So I say you should look through your life. Which habits are going to benefit you the most in 10 years? Which ones are going to make you a fucking millionaire? And which ones are going to destroy you? Which foods are you eating that are gonna give you cancer? And which foods are you eating that are gonna build your physique? The books you're reading gonna expand your mind and feed that like intellectual machine? Or is it just straight up brain rot? Are you gonna be just dumb because you didn't read any? So through these mindsets, I've had so many just successes and things that have brought so much fulfillment to my life. Amazing experiences out in the woods, in other countries, in my own life and in my own circle around me. I'm really, really grateful to have so many good experiences, especially with my friends and my family. I found success in my body. I put on a good amount of muscle and managed to stay disciplined at the gym. I found success in my relationships and the people I've been with. I paid a good amount of money for my own things, my own hustles, and the work that I like to put in. And most importantly, I've been much, much, much more fulfilled. I have this drive of excitement and enjoyment in my life that I haven't felt in a while. I don't need to rely on video games, drugs, alcohol, or just shitty food in general to fill that void. I found purpose to live. Other than leveling up in video game, I'd rather level up in real life. Alright, that's about it. Thanks for watching.